Hello everyone. So today I have little Zen and he's going to get changed and fed and I'm going to try to do a tag while I'm doing that. Um, I should have checked again though. I am not sure who originated the tag. But if I find I made a mistake, I will put it in the description. So, little Zen is going to put on his little dinosaur outfit. That is blue and gray dinosaurs. A mommy and a baby dinosaur. That's the onesie. And then it has these little dark blue pants with the little feet which are also gray and blue little dinosaur feet and if I put the jacket it has this blue and white striped jacket with the little dinosaur on it and it snaps and it has long sleeves but right now it is nice out today it stopped raining so that's nice so now he probably doesn't really need it um the jacket but we'll see so the tag was um I saw it on Miss Serenity Smith channel this week and it was do you feel pressured which I thought was a great tag question we may have answered other tags that were kind of similar but worded differently um, not exactly the same, but similar, like the one we did on is the hobby, is it a hobby or is it, um, competition or something like that? A few months ago, I remember doing that one. That was another good one. So this one, um, is another good tag. I believe Miss Serenity said it was by Lil Shug Nursery channel on YouTube. I believe that's what she said. If it's not Lil Shug, I will put it in the description under the video who actually originated it. Because I would have to go back and um, look at Serenity's video to see what she said who actually originated it. Um, but I'm not going to change this little guy's diaper. Because I just changed him. So he does not need a diaper change. Um, do I feel pressured? When I first started collecting my dolls. I only had one vinyl reborn. As I've said before in other videos. She wasn't the best vinyl reborn. She was my first. And I just adored her. Um, she had issues with her paint and all of that, but I still was just head over heels for her. But I really, really, and truly always wanted a silicone baby from the time I started collecting my dolls. Silicones were my favorite. And Silicone Babies channel, um, Dana on YouTube, everyone knows pretty much. Um, she was like my inspiration. She was the one that I seen with the Silicone Babies first, her channel. Um, and I just fell in love with the Silicone Babies. So that was always my quest to have a Silicone Baby. So when I started, I didn't know much about collecting the dolls. Didn't know really like what to look out for, what questions to ask, and all of those things. You know how you don't really know when you're just starting out in the hobby. Um, but all I knew was that I wanted a silicone baby. So I had my vinyl reborn for a couple of months. And I say I got the vinyl reborn in November. And then by that April, I got my first silicone baby. I found out that they they had partial silicones and that's how I was able to afford him because he was a partial and not a full body. Because at first I thought they only came in full body silicones. I didn't know, you know, they had partials. So 
So finally, I was on eBay one day and ran across this adorable little silicone baby that was a partial silicone. And I'll show him at the end of the video. Um, but so I got him and I was just so happy to get him, fell in love with him. Mind you, looking back and looking at him now and knowing what I know now, he's not the best silicone. But to me, you couldn't tell me at that time he wasn't the best. <laughs> you know, I just knew I was a, finally a silicone mommy. I don't think I'm going to put the jacket. So, as I, you know, kept looking at more and more videos and, you know, learning more and more about the silicone babies and the reborn babies, I realized, you know, there were better babies out there. As you keep learning, you learn, oh, I like this baby and I like the way this artist does, you know, her babies and I like the way these babies are sculpted. You start looking for more realism in the babies as you learn the hobby more. So, as I started noticing more and learning more, of course, my silicone baby, I love them to death, but I wanted more. And that's where, he's going to put on this bit, that's where the pressure started, I think, for me, the beginning of the pressure. The pressure started when I started to see what else was out there you know you know that there was better silicone babies out there and there was better vinyl reborns out there and of course of course of course what do we find when you when you want something better and you want you're looking for more it's money involved with it it's not just getting better and you think you're going to get that better without putting out some more money. <laughs> so basically, that's where the pressure comes in. Because when you see these babies, the better ones cost better money. You know, more money, more expensive. And that, I think, it sometimes if you're not careful, the pressure can ruin the hobby for you too. Because you're trying to... You want the cream of the crop. You're trying to get what you want to get and what you, you know, your dream baby, so to speak. And it is pressure to get to that baby you're trying to get to, I guess. <laughs> and a, you can, it's like after a while, you're not just satisfied with the one you have. You want more. And I guess it's like with anything else in life, when you... When you get your first house, and you sometimes call it your starter house, you still want in that dream house. You know, you, you're content for a little while with the house you bought. But, of course, you'll say, but it's a little small for me. I want a bigger house with more rooms. Or I want a newer house. Or I want a house with a bigger yard. Same thing with cars. You might start out with a used car. But, of course, you want that brand new car one day or that brand new truck. So it's the same thing with these dolls. <laughs> it's so much pressure. And I, for me, I've been noticing that the channels, as I said before, with the more subscribers, more viewers, once I started my channel, that also added pressure. Because then I was trying to also get more subscribers for my YouTube channel and more viewers. And I was like, oh, I see that to me, the people with the more dolls that do more regular box openings have more viewers and subscribers. I don't know if it's because people like seeing constantly the, the excitement of the box openings. So those channels have more babies coming in sometimes. To me, they get more subscribers. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's something I noticed. Um, and then again, that comes with the expensive part of it because, of course, the more babies you buy, you're going to be putting out more money. And I started off doing that. I started trying to buy more and more babies. And ha in the beginning, you don't even know what you're trying to collect. You don't know still what you're looking for. And a lot of the babies I collected in the beginning, I found I didn't like them. 
you know, or it was things about them that I didn't like. So I wasn't contented. Then you go into that. Oh, I'm trying to sell some of these babies because then you get too many of them, too. And you don't have space for all of them. You know, it's just an ongoing vicious cycle. If you're not careful in this hobby, it can really become, you know, a, a terrible cycle. It, it can it can ruin the hobby for you also if you're not careful. Instead of the hobby being enjoyable, it can become um, just like stressful if you're not careful with it. It can become expensive. It can actually make you go way over your budget where you'd be like, I need to slow down here. <laughs> you know, you have to be so careful with the hobby. Um... The next thing is I found that, you know, with certain channels, um, I like to watch, but I watch any channel. If I see the mommy is enjoying her doll, whatever kind of doll it is, not just the new sculpts that came out on new kits or the best dolls. It could be any doll I'll watch if I like the mommy and what she's bringing out on her channel and she likes her, her doll or her baby. You know, I'll watch the videos. But I notice with some people, they dress up their babies a lot. And to me, those channels sometimes get more viewers and subscribers. Because people are looking for, oh, what kind of outfit is she going to put on her baby today? So, and, and you know that the outfits are, you know, pretty upscale. You can, we all can tell the difference. We know Carter's and then we know, you know, other brands. I won't name brand names. Or sometimes it might not be Carter's. It could be from the dollar store. I will buy any kind of outfit if I like it. <laughs> you know, it could be a dollar store outfit, a Carter's outfit, or it may be a little more upscale. If I can afford it, then I'll get it. If I can't afford it, then I get what I can afford. Um, that's something else I learned in this hobby. You have to be careful of the pressure of trying to keep up with the dressing um, of the babies and how much clothes you're buying. All of it, again, runs into competition in some cases where, you know, the next person is trying to outdo the other person, you know. Um, we just have to be careful with this hobby because it can be fun and enjoyable or, or it can, like I said, be, become stressful. It can become so expensive in every way that then it's not enjoyable because all you notice you're doing is spending money, you know, and sometimes it's money you don't even have that you shouldn't be really using. But you'll find yourself trying to get that next doll or the next outfit or the next pacifiers that came out. You know, it, it's just ongoing. Even pacifiers are expensive. And we try to even keep up with, oh, what's the next pacifiers that came out? In the next bottles, I'm guilty of that because I, I, and it's not that I'm trying to keep up. I just love pacifiers and bottles. <laughs> So, you know, I have to be careful with everything because right now I have like a closet shelf full of baby bottles, um, baskets of pacifiers, a closet full of baby clothes, a, clo a, a crate, like crates full of baby clothes, drawers full of baby clothes, blankets. I mean, everything can become really an expensive in this hobby and you just have to be careful and I think a lot of it has to do with pressure because when I first started collecting and I didn't have a YouTube channel and I used to only watch other people's videos and I had my two little dolls at first my one silicone and my one vinyl reborn I only had a few clothes a few bottles a few little blankets I would use for them and they slept in little clothes baskets and I was so happy with that soon as I started my YouTube channel, the pressure was on. Oh, I need more clothes um, to do videos. Oh, I need more bottles so I can change bottles in each video. Oh, I need more dolls because I only have two and everybody else has more than two. <laughs> you know, so instantly 
I started to want to keep up with the next channel, trying to get more views and subscribers. I'm trying to figure out, you know, oh, what is this person doing? What do I need to do? Because they have so many subscribers, you know. So, I, I mean, I've learned since then. But, again, sometimes you still want to get this and that because you're trying to keep up. You want people to watch your videos, too. Because you figure if the more stuff you have, oh, they'll watch more because you're changing the outfits regular and you now have a changing table and you now have the crib, you know, so you, you're trying to keep up with what's going on around you and it definitely can become pressure even though I wanted the crib and the changing table, <laughs> but I didn't have to have it. I just wanted it. But you also notice people with all of those things, those channels sometimes become the more popular channels, the more things you have to show in your videos. So believe you me, it is, even if you're not competing, it is pressure because, you, because you're doing videos, I think it adds the pressure. Because you want your videos to look nice. You want to show new things in your videos that you got for your babies. You know, you want the nicer babies. And it, it, it just, you, I don't know. You can't get away from feeling that pressure. I'm almost four years into this hobby. I would say three and a half years on YouTube now. And I've learned from um certain things and i watch more what i spend now i let my babies wear their clothes definitely more than once um i don't buy as many dolls i slow down on that i now know what kind of dolls i like and what i'm looking for right now i only have what six dolls um i might get another one soon but i'm not trying to buy no doll every month to have no box opening you know so i can constantly have box openings <laughs> Um, I haven't bought any clothes in a while because I don't have it in my budget right now to buy any more baby clothes. When I get money, then I'll buy some more. Until then, I'm not. The same thing with bottles. I'm not, I haven't bought any more bottles in a while because certain bottles I like, I use all the time and the other ones are just sitting up on the closet shelf. Same thing with my pacifiers. Certain ones I like, I use them all the time. And the other ones are sitting in the crate. <laughs> you know, so you just learn as you go to slow down with your spending. Watch what you're doing. Because, like I said, the hobby can be fun with collecting these babies. Or it can become stressful and you just feel nothing but pressure. It can get the best of you. And it can ruin the hobby for you. And one story I've told before really quickly before I end this video um there was this girl one time I don't know what channel it was I wouldn't name the channel anyway even if I could remember um but the girl was crying so hard on this video and I'm like oh my god you know what happened I'm thinking like somebody in her family passed away or you know something really serious or she was sick or somebody in her family was sick the girl was crying because she said she has to end her doll collecting. She's going to sell all her dolls. She's giving up her reborn hobby because she is putting too much pressure on her mom and too much stress. And her mother just could not afford to keep up with this hobby anymore. She said she was constantly buying dolls, buying clothes. And all of these things, and she just couldn't do it anymore. Her mother couldn't handle it. It was just too expensive, and she felt so guilty for, you know, having her mother pay for all of this stuff for her because she was in school, and her mother was the one working, and her mother was a single parent, I guess. And she was, you know, she said the hobby was just draining them financially. So she was so upset, but she said she was going to just give up the whole thing because they couldn't handle it anymore. Now that said, that reborn hobby, these dolls was like breaking these people financially. And she was like about to have a nervous breakdown over it. The way she was crying, you would have thought, you know, there was a death in the family. So that's just sad. But that's what this hobby can do to you if you let it. And of course, we all want that dream baby. I have five silicone babies right now, and I still haven't gotten to the one I really want. I don't know which one it is. 
<laughs> for the life of me, I don't know what I want yet. I know which artists I like, but looking at like the dolls that I really want, the money is way up there. Do I want to spend all of that? I don't know yet. That puts pressure again, going back to that word of pressure. So right now I'm going to get what I can afford and still enjoy it. I'm not trying to break my bank though, trying to buy no doll. I'm just not going to do it. Um, I'm not going to let the hobby financially break me. <laughs> That's just advice to whoever is watching this and maybe feeling the same way. Try to enjoy it the best you can. Don't let the pressure just take over you where you're like breaking your bank account trying to keep up. Or buying dolls every minute trying to have a box open in to keep up. Or trying to buy every new kit that arrives. You know, you'll drive yourself nuts and you can really, um, really stress yourself out with that kind of pressure. Um, and that's just basically my advice. I'm going to probably get another silicone doll. I ain't going to lie. Um, but it's going to be what I can afford. And I'm going to still try to enjoy it and be happy with it. But I'm not going to like pressure myself. And if I can't get another doll for a year later, then I just won't. You know, I'll be happy with what I have and enjoy what I have right now. And, and that's it, <laughs> basically. But anyway, guys, that's the end of my videos getting long. So here's my little guy, little Mr. Zen, in his little dinosaur outfit. Looking all adorable. So, we like to say thanks for watching. And I hope some more people do this tag. It's very interesting, the question. So, we'll see you in the next video, guys.